What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG, and this is another Philadelphia Eagles video. If you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, the Philadelphia Eagles begin their season on Sunday on the road against the New England Patriots in Foxborough. And one of the biggest question marks that the Philadelphia Eagles have going into this game against the New England Patriots on the road is the punter position. As we know, the 53-man roster deadline was last Tuesday, August 29th. And one of the players that was released for the Philadelphia Eagles for the 53-man roster deadline was punter Aaron Sipos. But they did go ahead and bring him back to the practice squad. However, the Philadelphia Eagles do not have an eligible punter on the 53-man roster. As, since Aaron Sipos is back on the practice squad, he would be considered non-eligible to play in, on Sunday against the New England Patriots. Which is why the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out some punters. Potentially 3-4, to four, a 5th option, and possibly a 6th. So we are going to go ahead and get into it right now on the, field, on the three punters that the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out. So, according to the article here on NBCSports.com, it says the Philadelphia Eagles did not keep a punter on their 53-man roster, but they did re-sign Aaron Sipos to their practice squad, like I mentioned before. The team worked out three punters on Thursday, though, meaning last week. Blake Gilkin, Pat O'Donnell, and Colby Wadman got a tryout in Philadelphia and we're going to go ahead and break them down one by one. As the first punter, like it mentions in the article, was former New Orleans Saints punter Blake Gilligan. As according to the article here on NBCSports.com, it says that Blake Gilligan spent the past two seasons with the New Orleans Saints, averaging 47 yards on 160 punts with a net of 41.7 yards. So overall, I do find Blake Gilligan to be a very solid punter. Although he is not the number one option in terms of the punters that the Eagles could go out and acquire. As there is still potentially five other punters that the Eagles could go ahead and have start for Sunday's game against the New England Patriots. Against the New England Patriots and for the entire season. But Blake Gilligan is the first option which is not a bad one. But is still not my number one option going into this game. And my number one option is honestly not too interested in coming to the Eagles. Or we haven't heard any reports about him coming to Philadelphia and having interest. But at the end of the day, it would be really nice to have the punter that I do have as my number one punter for punters that could start on Sunday for Philly and for the entire regular season. But overall, Blake Gilligan, not a bad start in terms of the overall punters that the Philadelphia Eagles worked out or are an option to who can be the potential starting punter for the Philadelphia Eagles this season. So on to the second corner that the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out on Thursday was former Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears punter Pat O'Donnell who has went ahead and played all but one game over the past nine seasons punting for the Bears and Packers with, the, with Green Bay last season O'Donnell averaged 44 and a half yards on 52 punts with a net average of 38 and a half yards. So I do think it's a little bit of a downgrade with Pat O'Donnell underneath Blake Gilligan, all because of that net average though of what Pat O'Donnell averages for every punt of 30 and a half yards in terms of a net average but overall in terms of the punts he averages 44 and a half yards on 52 punts like I mentioned before but at the end of the day I do not think it is the best option to go out and sign Pat O'Donnell he is older which I do understand but at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I do not think he is the number one option for the Philadelphia Eagles to go out and sign. But still, not a bad option that the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out. But overall, it's not the number one guy on the list for me. As number three on here in terms of who the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out at the punting position is former Denver Broncos punter Kobe Wadman who has not punted in the NFL since 2018 to 2019 with the Broncos, but ever since he did punt in that season with Denver, he averaged 44 and a half yards on 143 punts with a net average of 38.7 yards. So kind of similar to Pat O'Donnell, 
He did go ahead and average 44 and a half yards per punt and did have a pretty close net average of in terms of how far the punts would travel pretty close to where Pat O'Donnell was in terms of what his net average was. But at the end of the day, the reason why Colby Wadman is not my number one punter in terms of who the Philadelphia Eagles should sign to be the starting punter is because he has not played since the 2018 to 2019 season. That is approximately five seasons ago, the last time Colby Wadman ended up punting for a team. So the fact that he has been on that five-year hiatus in terms of not being a starting punter for a, for a team that has had interest in him kind of concerns me about him taking the role of punter. But again, not a bad candidate to take the starting punter role for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's just that on how, based on how much time that this guy has had off from an NFL organization because apparently no team has been interested in him since the 2018 to 2019 season with the Denver Broncos. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, he is not a bad punter overall. It's just the fact that he has not punted in approximately five seasons. Now, there was a fourth punter that the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out, and it is former New York Jets and Pittsburgh Steelers punter, Graydon Mann, in which... According to this article here from Bleeding Green Nation, it says that Braden Mann is the fourth punter the Birds have brought in since cutting Aaron Sipos and signing him to, their to the practice squad last week. The Eagles previously tried out Blake Gilkin, Pat O'Donnell, and Kobe Wadman, like I mentioned before. But then it continues in saying that Braden Mann reportedly drew interest from Philly when he was waived by the New York Jets back in April. He was awarded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, since they had a higher priority in the waiver claim order, the Steelers kept Mann as one of the one of two punters on their original 53-man roster before cutting him one day later. PFF graded Mann as their fourth best punter in 2022. He was 21st in average net yards per punt with 41 yards and 12th in average hang time at 4.35 seconds, which it does not show how long the punts have been the air for for any of the other three punters that I have mentioned so far throughout this video. But at the end of the day, it's also not a bad idea for the Philadelphia Eagles to go ahead and bring in Braden Mann. Another solid punter and one that the Eagles have overall had interested in. But still, not my number one punter for the Eagles to go ahead and bring in to this team. If they want to have a punter that knows how to punt the football and could be an upgrade over Aaron Sipos going into this season, and especially on Sunday against the New England Patriots. Now, again, looking at this tweet here, as you guys see on Twitter from Eagles Nation at PHL Eagles Nation, it is apparently asking the fans here, do you want to see the Eagles call in Matt Ariza to try out for the punter position? Known as the punt god, Ariza has been awaiting a second chance in the NFL after being falsely accused of whatever it was, he was later fully vindicated and found not guilty in his trial. So, again, he has not gotten an opportunity to play in the NFL because of what he did. But at the end of the day, if the Philadelphia Eagles do go out and add Matt Ariza, this will probably be the best option for them to get since apparently he is known as the punk god. But the fact that he has not played since college kind of concerns me a little bit. But at the end of the day, he'll still find a way to be the same punter that he was back in college. As it says right here, continuing on with the tweet, saying that in his college career, Ariza set the single season FBS record with an average of 51.19 yards per punt. He also set all-time records for most punts of 50 plus yards with 39 in a single season and most punts of 60 plus yards with 18 in a single season as well. So there is a really good reason why they do call Matt Ariza the punt god with him having multiple 50 plus yard punts and as well as 60 yard plus yard punts. So this is the one that I could see the Philadelphia Eagles go ahead and bring in if they were to be interested in Matt Ariza. However, apparently it does not turn out that Matt Ariza has much interest in coming to the Philadelphia Eagles. So it is very unlikely that Matt Ariza would come to Philly before week one against the New England Patriots. But overall, I do find this to be the number one option based on the numbers that you see at the bottom of this tweet on your screen. 
in his college career. But this is the NFL. This is a whole new football league. So this is completely different from college. But based on these college football stats, if he could bring this into the NFL, if he does get a second opportunity with another team, I really could see him being one of the best punters in the NFL, especially with those numbers as you see in terms of how he has done in his college career. Now, apparently, just recently, pretty much yesterday, it's looking like the Eagles have found their answer, actually, in terms of who the starting punter is going to be on Sunday, but it is not the one that you guys are going to want to hear, as this comes from Section215.com on Fansided, as this reporter from CBS, Alicia Roberts, comes out here and says that Aaron Sipos was the Eagles' only punter at practice today. Sure seems like he will be the week one starter. He was also still holding for Jake Elliott. So, not what we want to see, but I guess we are giving him one last chance to try to go ahead and prove himself, see if he has improved over the offseason, and if he does not end up working out, expect him to go ahead and get cut once again and expect the Philadelphia Eagles to go ahead and find interest in finding a new punter as it's looking like Aaron Sipos is going to go ahead and get the start on Sunday and get the nod in becoming the Philadelphia Eagles starting punter. But overall, I just cannot wait for this Philadelphia Eagles season to start as we are just three days away from the Eagles going to Foxborough and matching up with the New England Patriots as this is going to be a really fun season. My schedule prediction video will be out tomorrow. And then on Saturday, my Philadelphia Eagles versus New England Patriots week one game preview will also be out for that day. So be sure to tune into those two as well. But on that note, guys, that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. What do you think about the punters that the Philadelphia Eagles went ahead and worked out? Who should they get out of all these punters? And should they really stick with Aaron Sipos and how long can Aaron Sipos last for in Philadelphia? Throw your thoughts down below in the comment section. Want to see what you guys think and let's go birds, everyone. Let's go ahead and have a great season. We're three days away from the Eagles season beginning on Sunday. Let's have a great season. Anyway, guys, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll see you guys in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fly, we'll fly, and let's go birds!